lovelies, I hope you're all well. We have some very exciting news for you today. There are some new products coming our way and I'm sure you are going to be as excited as I am. So ever since Cricut Joy came out, one of the big things around Cricut Joy was the insert card and lots of people wanted an insert card mat for Explore and Maker. Well, Cricut listened and it is here. This is the insert card mat for Maker and Explore. Very, very exciting. There's four slots for insert cards, so you can do four cards at a time. And I am just blown away by this. So this will be available in the States as of now, and it's going to be $17.99 in dollars. And in the States, it will be also be available as a five pack, and that will be $49.99. It will be available here in the UK from the 1st of June, and it's going to be £16.99 for a single mat. And in the EU, it will be €19.99. Euros. I am so, so excited for this. I just, oh, it's brilliant. I cannot wait to show you this in action. And as I say, there are four slots, so you can do four cards at once. So we currently have three sizes of insert cards for Joy, and they're gonna change their name. So the smallest size, which is 3.5 by 4.9, is going to become R10. The middle size, which is 4.25 by 5.5, is going to become R20. And then the largest current size, which is 4.5 by 6.25, is going to become R30. And you'll be able to use these as insert cards, foil cards, and cutaway cards on both the Joy and on the Maker and Explore card mat. We've also got two new sizes which will be exclusively for the Explore and Maker card mat. So we have our 40, which is 4.75 by 6.6. .6. And then we have S40, which is 4.75 by 4.75. And in case you haven't worked it out yet, R is for rectangle and S is for square. Now, as I say, the new size R40, 4.75 by 6.6, .6, will only be available to use on the Maker and Explore card mat, and you'll be able to find them as insert cards, foil insert cards, and cutaway cards. And then the S40, which is 4.75 by 4.75, again, only for the Explore Maker insert card mat. You'll be able to find those as insert cards, cutaway cards, and foil insert cards. So just a quick recap, the current three sizes of insert joy cards will be available to use on your insert joy card mat and the Explore Maker card mat, so they can be used in all machines as long as you have an appropriate insert card mat. And then the two new sizes, which are R40 and S40, will only be able to be used on the Maker and Explore models with a Maker and Explore insert card mat. I am so very excited by this. So the new insert card sizes of S40 and R40 available now. And the great thing is, is that the pack sizes are going to be different now as well. So the R40, which again is 4.75 by 6.6 .6 for insert cards will be available in packs of 30. For cutaway cards will be in packs of 12 and foil insert cards will be at packs of 12 as well. With the S40, so that is 4.75 by 4.75, the insert cards will come in packs of 35. The foil insert cards will come in packs of either 12 or 14 depending on the name of the card pack. And again, the cutaway cards will come in packs of either 12 or 14, depending on the name of the pack. 
So if we just come into design space quickly, we are going to go over this a lot more in depth in the future, but I just wanted to go through some things just very quickly. If we go to images and we search for insert card, these are all going to be labeled. So there'll be R10, R20, R30, R40 and S40. So for example, if we scroll down, you'll see this one is already set to S40. So you'll then be able to choose the appropriate images. And the great thing is that using your contour, you will be able to swap out images as well. And again, we'll explore that in the future. I've just got three here for the R40 cards. And I want you to note that the cut colors are all different. And this is really important. The other thing is that if we go to settings, we now actually have the option to pre-choose our load type. So it's set to Cricut Maker 3, I can set it to none, which it currently is, or I can select it to without a mat, on a mat 12 by 12, 12 by 24, or card mat. I keep mine to none and then I choose in a second when we go to make it. But if you do want to preset your load type, you can. Right, these are all currently set to different color of cuts. So if we go to make it and I select on card mat, because those cuts are different colors, it's going to automatically put them onto three separate card mats because it thinks that we're going to be using different colors and we are we will put different colors on our map but design space needs to think that they're all the same so if we go to cancel and we select just our cuts using our layers panel you can see here it says basic cuts we're going to change the color on this one to black the color on this one to black and then this one is already set to black. And it doesn't matter, I can put different colors on my mat and I'm going to, but Design Space needs to have them all the same. Again, we can go to make it. And it's then going to put them all on the same mat for us. We can then go to continue. And if we go to browse all materials, and we type in insert, it then comes up with the insert card setting. You'll note here, it tells us we need to move the star wheels to the center of the rail, making sure they all align with the middle column of card mat. And I'm gonna go through that now. So I've got my insert card mat here. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off the protective sheet. And you want to take it off for all of them. So even if you're not using this side, you still really want to take this off. We did talk with Cricut about maybe cutting them and doing that and they advised against it. So you want to make sure that you take all the protective layers off. And if you look at them, you'll see that one side is shiny, one side is matte. The shiny side is what's going onto the mat. Just like with Joy, I'm going to come in and just slide that in. And I'm gonna make sure that all of them are aligned at the top and on this center piece here. And then I can fold that down. I also want to make sure that I use my brayer or a scraper to make sure that they are nice and stuck down to my mat. So if we look at my machine, you'll see that my star wheels are actually all the way across. The reason being is because I quite often will do chipboard or acrylic or um, foam in here. So I don't want my star rollers kind of going through. Same as if I'm using foil. With the insert card mat, your rollers cannot go down the sides because they'll interfere 
with these parts of the mat. So they must go down the center. So the easiest way to do it is to line it up and then we're just gonna get our star rollers. And it does take, it can take a little bit of maneuvering to get them across, but I'm just gonna push them and I'm gonna make sure there's one here that's being a little bit tricky. There we go. I'm just gonna get this one. And I'm just going to line up my mat and make sure that they're going to go down the centre. I can load my mat up. Again, they are in the centre, we can see that. I can add my first pen in and go. So to remove them, all I'm going to do is just turn my mat over and then without over bending it, I'm just going to gently pull that off and then remove it. I can then come in with a scraper and just remove any excess from my mat. I then want to come in with the protective sheet. and place those back onto my mat. And there we go. There is the new Explore Maker insert card mat. We've got new insert cards, we've got foil insert cards, we've got cutaway cards, all of which can be used with this new insert card mat. Fantastic. It's something we've waited for a long time for Maker and Explore, and I'm so excited that it's finally here. As I say, this is already available in the States. The mat is $17.99 on its own, or a five pack is $49.99. And for the UK, it's available 1st of June, and it's going to be $16.99 a mat. You can purchase it using our link below for the States. We've also got a discount code, and the same for the UK as well, when it's available on the 1st of June. As always, thank you so much for joining me. We've got lots more videos to come. I'm so excited for this and what the future holds. I cannot wait to try it with the foil tool. Very, very exciting. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.